In this tip of the week, we will look at how to add quiz questions to videos in Panopto. Quizzes can be added to any video in your library. This includes new recordings created with Panopto, as well as pre-recorded videos uploaded to Panopto from your desktop, laptop, or mobile device. Quizzes can contain multiple questions, and each set of questions is referred to as a quiz. You can place quizzes at any point in the video, and you can add as many quizzes as you'd like to each video. To add a quiz to your Panopto video, open your chosen session in the Panopto editor. Then, in the left navigation pane, click on the Quizzes link. Using the pointer tool, navigate in the timeline to where you want to put a quiz. I'm going to ask my first question at 3 minutes. Then, click on the Add a Quiz button. The quiz form will appear in your secondary stream area. The form has several different fields including quiz name, question, answers for all possible answers, and correct answer. The correct answer is indicated by the dotted circle. Within the form, you can select the drop-down menu in the top right corner to show different types of quiz questions. Currently, the quiz options include true or false, multiple choice, and multiple select. The default is multiple choice. Panopto may support more question types in a future release. Multiple choice gives you the option to have several answers present, but only one answer can be chosen as correct. When the multiple choice option is chosen, there will only be two answer fields. Another answer field can be added by clicking the Add Answer button. To remove an answer, you can click on the X next to any of the answers. If you would like, you can add a correct answer explanation. If you only want question at this point, you can press Done, which will create the quiz including this one question, but you can add as many questions as you want to each quiz. I'm going to add another question. Another quiz question type is true or false, which gives you the option to ask a true or false question. Now let's add a third question to this quiz. Multiple select gives you the option to have several answers present and more than one can be selected as correct. Once again, you will have to mark all of the correct answers, and for multiple select, this will show up as a check mark in the box. So here I have three correct answers and one incorrect answer. If you need to navigate to a different question in your quiz, you can use the back and next buttons at the bottom of the form. Once you have added all of your questions, click the Done button at the bottom of the form. You will then be directed to the options page for this quiz. In this page, you can allow retakes, show the grade once the quiz is taken. If this is enabled, you can also allow the review of correct answers and explanations. You can block your viewers from advancing the video until answering the quiz, and you will see a preview of all of the questions, along with the options to delete them by clicking the X's, or rearrange them by clicking the arrows up and down. When you are ready, click Finish. The name of your quiz will now appear in the quizzing pane. If I need to edit this quiz further, I just click on the quiz and I return to the first quiz question. I'm going to rename this quiz. And then I'm going to click Done when I have made my changes. And I will once again have to press Finish from the Quiz Options page. Repeat these steps for each quiz you want to add to your session. In this quiz, I only have one question. When you have added all of the quizzes with all of the questions you want to include in this session, click the Publish and Save button. When learners watch the video in Panopto's interactive player, the quiz or quizzes will automatically launch at the time or times that you specified. When the user tried to skip ahead in the video, they were stopped and returned to the three minute mark where I added quiz one. During playback, when it is time for a quiz, the video will pause until the question or questions are answered. As the instructor, you can easily check quiz results for the entire class or individual learners. To access the results of a quiz, click on the settings icon on the session where the quiz was created. On the left, click the quiz results tab to display the results. From this tab, you can see quiz results summary, which shows the total number of correct answers and questions, as well as the percentage correct for each quiz. You are also able to get a more detailed view of results by section. Click the section drop-down menu to select which quiz selection to drill into.
You can also expand each user to see which questions they got correct and which questions they got incorrect. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.